so thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening and thank you so much for staying back i hope that you had a great time watching the film uh, especially on this special occasion of gurudev's uh, birth anniversary and i'm joined by the producer of the film uh, mr suraj kumar uh we won't keep a very long conversation we'll just have a few questions and then we'll open up for a audience round also uh just to quickly begin with uh, could you also take us a little you know in the background of how this story came into being what was it that prompted you to make a film on tagore specifically about this argentinian chapter so uh, my journey started in 2015 when i met pablo cesar in um, in goa before that <coughs> one of my uh, one of the ifs officer who was posted to argentina mr Am amrinder khatwa he got me connected to <coughs> pablo cesar and that is how you know i came into the picture in uh, 2015 15 then 16 we met uh, and signed the agreement co-production agreement so uh, I also had the privilege of interviewing some of the cast members and I particularly spoke to Victor Banerjee and I don't know how many of you have followed Victor Banerjee's career but he's somebody who has worked all over the world. He has worked with David Lean on Passage to India. He has even done theatre in York uh, where he played Jesus Christ in sub-zero conditions and he has starred in Satyajit Ray's films. He was in Chatranj Ke Khiladi, he was in Ghore Bhaire, he has worked with Robin Polanski and when I asked him, uh, you know, last year when he was here at the press premiere I asked him that uh, sir you have had such an illustrious career could you tell me your top three four performances and he said that Murtaza I will put this right at the very top because of the challenge sheer uh, uh, you know uh, challenge of playing Tagore what was it like to cast you know somebody like Victor Banerjee in this role so uh, <clears throat> it was my biggest challenge to cast you know as a Tagore you know like in the initial stage uh, uh, Pablo was interested to cast to you know Amitabh Bachchan, so uh, it was his choice. So I I connected to him also, but somehow it could not materialize. Then uh, I think Nasiruddin Shah was also one of yes, the options. Nasiruddin Shah. Then I thought, let me have Ben Kingsley in this film because he played the role of Gandhi, so it will be appropriate to cast him. So I got it touch with Ben Kingsley. So somehow you know the. Uh, price was very high, so it could not materialize. Then, uh, then uh, I was thinking that let me have some Bengali character. So in Bengal, I was having two, three characters, but somehow, you know, like I was not getting uh, what you call satisfy myself. So uh, one day I was sitting in my office with my staff and I said, Ki batao kya kya kar sakte hai. So I was watching one of his film, uh, Victor Banerjee's film. So that is how he came into, you know, in my mind. And uh, I suggested Pablo that uh, Victor Benerji can be the appropriate uh, artist to play the role of uh, Tagore. And uh, I asked him to come down to India and I drove him, drove down to Missouri to Pablo Caesar and we I made think further him, up, yes. I, I think yes. you said Landor. Yes, yes, Landor. It, I, I was driving myself and it was rainy, you know, like very difficult to drive and Pablo was very much, you know, Afraid, you know, he, he said, Ki tum mere ko niche dal do. <laughs> So he was not, you know, uh, having confidence with me, on me. So anyhow, uh, we uh, met next day in the morning time. We had breakfast together and Pablo met him. So I, we all together decided that let us have Victor Venerzi in this uh, role. So that is how, you know, uh, Victor Venerzi came into picture. It was really, uh, you know, like in the beginning, uh, it was little uh, difficult to convince her, him Vic, to Victor Benerji that you, you are the. But anyway, he he was aware about the story, though the story was also you know fascinated him, uh, the Tagore and Victoria. So uh, that a story also uh, matters you know for the casting. So. And the uh, brilliant part is the chair that you saw in this, that is an actual replica of the chair that was there in Shanti Niket. And of course, they didn't allow them to shoot with the real one, but they, cre they allowed them to see it and observe it for a replica to be created. Tell a little about that story. How did that materialize? So that chair is still the sofa, is still in Shanti Niketan. <coughs> so they kept in a museum sort of thing. So that chair is very much controversial. <laughs> so some, you know. So I, 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 I took picture of that and you know like I got it made in uh, Argentina the same same chair. 
So, you know, like carrying from India and maybe they might have given me permission, but I could not insist him, you know, like to give me the permission. But I took pictures and I made it uh, in Argentina. Lastly, just wanted to touch upon the fact that the challenges of shooting in black and white. So, if you could also highlight yeah, it was very much that. And, on, it, and that too on film. Yes, uh, we shot in 35 millimeter, and uh, Kodak has uh, long time back uh, stopped the you know like producing the stock. So it was biggest challenge, and Pablo was very much admin that look, I'm not going to have go like the kind of feel, the kind of depth you, you won't find in digital. So. Uh, I was having no choice other than, you know, like asking Kodak to especially produce the stock. So they especially produced a stock for for us, you know, some of the stock we uh, imported to India and some of the stock we, uh, you know, they delivered to Argentina. So most of the black and white scene uh, sequence supposed to be shot in Argentina and black and white uh, stock used to be very costly, you know, almost three times price. So it was also, you know, like very much challenge for us to, you know, like arrange the 35 millimeter stock. Now, I won't name the series. A very popular series has come out on a very popular platform and it's in black and white. And the two of us were discussing while yes. watching that series and we were mm -hmm. wondering that the dynamic range is just not there. Mm -hmm. And that's when we, you know, compared it to this one that, you know, this is actual film, actual black and white stock. And you can see the dynamic, you know, range. You can see the blacks, you can see the whites and you can see the grays, you know. So it's not flat as you would see when they would probably use digital and do a black and white in post. This is different. Yes, yes. Uh, even the, uh, the images which you will see maybe in the, you know, like on uh, Google or somewhere. So it is also in 35 millimeter. It's not a digital, uh, what you call the images. So we, uh, uh, we in, in, uh, from the beginning only, you know, like we planned everything that we, we will not have any kind of thing in digital. So even the film life is more than, you know, like it, it will, you know, like we can comfortably keep 400 years for this film. But digital, you, you won't have uh, this kind we of, you know. We just don't know yet yes. whether it will last that long. Yes. Uh, lastly, I would like to open it for a Q&A. Uh, we would really appreciate any observations, any questions, anything that you would like to ask uh, with uh, the producer of the film. You have a question? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Yes, I used to see your, uh, you know, Twitter, <laughs> this thing. I think today also you posted two posts regarding the Tiger uh, anniversary. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Suraj, uh, first of all, I'm a great admirer of Tagore and uh, his writing. And uh, this uh, story about his uh, platonic relationship with uh, Victoria is also known to me. Caesar was uh, with you. But this may not be the sole reason. What are the other reasons uh, which you made, uh, why you made this film? No, uh, the uh, story, you know, like uh, uh, this, uh, this film is uh, funded by government of Argentina as well. So 60% fund is given by the government of Argentina. And it's, it is only because, uh, you know, like uh, Tagore has connection with Argentina. So uh, story is, you know, like our story was fixed. So that's next, I mean, I am doing on the other part of the Tagore, I am making a documentary, you know, like Almhurst. You have seen the Leonard yeah. Almhurst. He is, he is from Dartington, so he has stayed in UK. India for three, four years. And whatever he learned in India with Tagore, he he gone back to Dartington in United Kingdom and he experimented all the things like rural uh, democracy, rural reconstruction, the what you call uh, in these days, uh, the what you call the job creation thing. So he all the things he experimented in uh, Dartington. So that documentary I am doing and that uh, experiment uh, has been, you know, like uh, what you call uh, in the uh, different uh, province of the UK, uh, uh, the same experience uh, was experimented. So that part of the thing I am doing, it is my own idea because this part of thing nobody knows that uh, uh, about the, you know, everybody knows I that know Tagore was philosopher, told, poet, I, and... I know it because you told me about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so can we call it just the first chapter? There yes. are more chapters to yes. come on Tagore. Yes. Uh, I would also like to take this opportunity to welcome uh, the Honorable Ambassador of uh, Bosnia and uh, Herzegovina to India, uh, Ambassador Mohammed Chengiz. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, Excellency, this evening.
and also uh, Mr. Muktesh Pradeshi, a special secretary to G20, and Mr. Abhay, uh, he is also a deputy director general of ICCR. So, and other uh, guests. Madam, I think you are the one who got me introduced to IAC, so that is how, you know, the film. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, we had a screening there in uh, the kind lady, she was really keen on, you know, f having the film screened here, and finally Let we have the screening here. Oh. Yeah, oh. question, yes. I think it was an amazing film. And Victor Banerjee was the perfect choice. I don't think Amitabh Bachchan would have worked out or anybody. I think he was so perfect Thank that you. you could feel the reflection of him on him. And the black and white, I think making it a black and white and at the same time not a digital has made a lot of difference. Yes. And the scene that I really liked when he is going to uh, return and when she, you know, the, the train, the way you capture that black, the images of Ravindana Tagore, she in the center, and his son. And when she heard about his death and the way she reacted, yeah, it was yeah. marvelous. I think that absolutely, scene is, is... Absolutely touchy. It is exactly that how when you subconsciously you cry deep, you know? That is how the tears come. It just didn't come say, oh no, sort of, you know? I think it was perfect. It's really perfect poetry in motion, that particular scene. That I think emotion really was really like, you know, about. yeah, it was so close, absolutely perfect, and not like a nahi, and all something, no, something like that. I think that was nothing like, Bo there was no Bollywood touch in this. <laughs> I think otherwise, she would have ran, other the car saying nahi, with coming out with these hat days. flying in the air. No, it was perfect. Thank you, Suraj, and it was well, lovely. I well, wish you all the best for the next. Yeah, welcome, madam. Uh, one question for the gentleman. Can you pass on the mic? Well, I was just wondering if uh, there is a possibility of rescreening of this film in the near future, because I found it very magical, very touching, mesmerizing. So I would like to see it again, and also with some of my family members whom I could not bring, I think with who will also like to experience such a beautiful film on the big screen. Yeah, why not? Uh, I mean, I am discussing with, uh, you know, like, this is art film, you know. So nobody, no television channel or OTT platform there. I am in touch with all of the, you know, uh, the avenues, but they are not interested in these sort of things. So they have all become commercial. But anyway, um, I will, will, we can have, we can have, why not? Yeah, 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 maybe I, so IAC wale to honge ne they can they can because this screening they have they had organized. I think it no. looked great yes. here and the sound was amazing. Yes. it, it sounded so the good. Uh, best uh, project. They have the best time. acoustics in the yes, capital, yes. I would say. Hmm. Uh oh, you know, like we started. It it took me for production one year, but before that, you know, like I think one and a half year, uh, we uh, we took time for the preparing the script, the final script and one year for the production. In 2017, it was closing film in IFI. It has been to many international film festivals. So one, one month we shot in India, uh, mostly in Bolpur, then uh, Kolkata, then Sundarban, and then one month in Argentina. So we shot in uh, the actual house of Victoria, Vilio Ocampo, uh, the photography scene and all. So that was the actual, and the same scene, uh, the same photographs you will find in internet, uh, the Tagore and Victoria Ocampo picture, same. So, so same, same at the same place, we took the same picture. So, Recreating yeah. history. And the, all the train sequence we created in Buenos Aires. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, little away from Buenos Aires, in between San Isidro and Buenos Aires. There is a train, uh, what you call the running, uh, this, and the train which you have seen, it took us almost a day to, you know, recharge or to activate the, so we got the actual train. I mean, the, which, uh, the, uh, the friends, during the friends, 1930s, uh, the France were, were having, was having the, the train. So we, uh, we actually, we were lucky in that sense. So <laughs> we got connected to the administration in Argentina and they showed us the, this thing. And the, all the, the French sequence, the France sequence, we shot in Argentina only. Because in, Fra in Argentina, you will find lots of buildings. Even in San Isidro and other, the suburb also, you will find that sort of... Uh, Colonial influence. Uh, yes, the buildings.
Yes, yes, one month. One month we have stayed over there. No, he is talking and about the film getting screened at Shanti Niketan. No, Shanti Niketan. Uh, last year we showed it uh, in at this Bengal club. Uh, yes, and uh, it was packed. Not uh, not in Shanti Niketan. It, it was packed. You know, like uh, they have stopped booking three days before the screening. उन्होंने दो सौ रुपए का टिकट रखा था and they said we sold all the tickets. <laughs> Yes. Uh, one last question. Yeah. Anyone watching this film would be curious to uh, know the story behind the second story. How did that come about? The second story that is playing out. Uh, Hector with the, one. With Hector uh, with Raima Sen and Hector. Ah yes. Uh, yeah. But you know, like, why we kept this Hector story? Because you know, Victoria she never came to India, and Tagore met only twice in his life to uh, with Victoria. One in 1924, another is. Second time is in 1930, and she never came to India. So, but we wanted to show the, you know, to the international audience the how is, uh, you know, the Shanti Niketan, and also that is how that is how you know we made the second track. You yes. want to ask a question? I just wanted to read a poem called yeah, Victoria Ocampo, which uh, which is about this, wow. and it's from the alphabets of Latin America, my poetry collection. An ailing poet, sheltered in her home, her heart. She, his bizarre, his poetry, his life. Victoria and Tagore, two souls dancing in ecstasy. Purbi, blowing incessantly between India. And Argentina. Wow. Beautiful. So nice. Beautiful. And very apt also, I think. Perfect way to sum up the evening. I hope nice. you all had a great time. Thank you so much for joining us. And hopefully we'll have another screening of this film very soon, uh, here and at other places as well. Thank you so much.